content we have to bring you, and we are far from over. I want to emphasize that the countdown to Mars is not done at zero today. The countdown to Mars ends in February when Mars 2020 safely delivers perseverance and ingenuity to the surface of the red planet. So we're going to let you listen in now and enjoy the last couple minutes of the, the process of launching a rocket. One minute, 59. Vehicle internal. One minute, 55. Launch sequencer start. One minute, 50. Securing Centaur LH2. Securing Centaur LO2. So there we heard the fueling is, is One wrapping minute, up. One minute, 40. Yep, fueling is wrapping launch up. Launch enabled. Uh, team is gone. Launch enabled is done. Launch conductor sequence is ready to go. They're getting ready to turn the vehicle over to auto yep, sequence yep, armed. Uh, at T minus 31 seconds. Um, so that's a big thing that they're getting done here. At uh, T minus 25 seconds, we will hear the team uh, give their final goes that everything is ready and One the minute, launch 20. vehicle is uh, ready to lift OCU off and perform armed. this mission. SCS count started. One minute 15. Produce CSCS for launch. Roger. One minute 10. 10 valves locked. One minute. Rock report, range status. Range green. That's good to hear, Joshua, right that there. Public safety there is accounted for, the FTS system. Uh, there you see on your screen a beautiful shot. Uh, the skies look great. There is little wind um, happening. You'd be able to see more of the, the venting. Um, if there were wind, the trail of that, of that venting. So uh, we're yeah. ready to go. And actually, that's an important seconds. point. The reason we don't see that Stable venting is F3. the vent valves have been locked up to put flight pressure into the tanks. And as we just heard, they're stable at step three, which means the tanks are ready to go. And uh, here at about five seconds, we will hear seconds. the team ECS reduced for launch. Give the final go. Twenty-five seconds. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Mars 2020. And there we go. We are ready to go lift off this morning, Joshua. Eight, seven, six, five, five. four. Engine ignition. Two, one. Zero. Release and lift off. As the countdown to Mars continues, the perseverance of humanity launching the next generation of robotic explorers to the red planet. And Atlas TU has gone to closed loop control. Coming up on 30 seconds into flight, the RD-180 is throttling down as expected. Engine response looks good. And Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. And passing 45 seconds into flight, vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Passing one minute into flight, the RD-180 is throttling back up as expected. Engine response looks good. At this time in flight, the SRB chamber pressures remain nominal. The RD-180 pump speed and fuel injector pressures are responding well to demands on the engine. Standing by for SRB burnout shortly. And we have burnout on all four SRBs. Burnout pressure signatures look good. Standing by for SRB jettison shortly. And we have a good indication of SRB jettison of all four SRBs. And the vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance. Vehicle body rates are responding nominally at this time. And coming up on two and a half minutes into flight, uh, the RD-180 has throttled down slightly as expected. Engine response continues to look good. 
At this time, the vehicle is uh, 50 miles in altitude, uh, 85 miles downrange, traveling at 6,000 miles per hour. And the Centaur Reaction Control System is now pressurizing to flight levels. And just past three minutes into flight, the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 2.5 G acceleration limit for payload fairing jettison. Engine response and vehicle acceleration look good. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison and Centaur forward, forward load reactor deck jettison. And the RD-180 is throttled back, is throttling back up to attain a 4.6G acceleration. Uh, engine response continues to look good. And Centaur has begun the boost phase chill down sequence to thermally condition the RL-10 for operation. Standing by for BECO shortly. Biko is the Biko's the call for booster engine. And we have Biko booster engine cutoff standing by for stage separation. And we have good indication of Atlas Centaur separation. So they're using live footage. And we have the Mach one. Uh, RL ten operating parameters look good. Uh, <clears throat> Chamber pressures are stable. This will be the first of two burns for today's mission. Uh, this first burn will pro be approximately seven minutes in length. So, Mick, that's pretty exceptional footage there. That's live video. Uh, we will see that switch over shortly into an animation that kind of helps let us know what's happening with the rocket, but right there, uh, a beautiful liftoff. Uh, fun to feel that rumble in the building here as we proceed towards uh, orbit and then towards uh, Mars destination. Yeah, absolutely. It was great uh, watching an on-time liftoff of the Atlas V with that little over 2 million uh, pounds of thrust. Uh, cleared the tower in roughly five seconds. Uh, Josh, you and I worked the InSight mission, and if you recall, that mission on the West Coast took about 17 yeah, seconds to get past tower. So with those four solids today, this thing really got out of here and on its way. It's, uh, as we hear from Jesse, everything's looking nominal, and all uh, vehicle parameters are, are within the design limits, and, and we're getting ready to come up on a main engine start for that first burn that and Jesse was talking about. See, uh, yeah, so recapping this countdown to Mars, uh, the stations begin to be filled up this morning just after midnight. Uh, preparations, fuelings, powering up uh, all the way through that, that liftoff that happened. Uh, I think, Mick, uh, it wasn't precisely on time. I think you said it was like 10 milliseconds early, um, so it's pretty much dead on. Yeah, dead on. This team does a great job. As I said, they're very focused, very disciplined, as, as Tori also said, courageous. Uh, they have done a lot of work to get us to this point today uh, through this pandemic, changed how they did some of their work, uh, you know, made adjustments as needed, uh, a lot of cleaning, a lot of things, a lot of wearing their face masks, uh, doing all kinds of things. And so this is an exciting time not only for the JPL team in Mars 2020, but everybody that's worked this mission and for the country and the agency. So this is exciting to see. We still have a long way to go, Joshua. Yes. Before spacecraft separation. Yeah, we had a really quiet countdown today, which is phenomenal uh, that we got off the ground on time. And we are proceeding now that we are in the middle of the first burn. Uh, it's tough to make out, but that engine is lit and it's firing. Um, so we are in motion. There you go. There's that animation we talked about. The telemetry there as we switch to a teacher's compatible data format. 
uh, Tidris. Overall telemetry quality is uh, very good. The space tracking system. Um, so there you go. This is not an actual video, but this is an animation that's driven by real data. So although we're not actually seeing the engine on screen right now, uh, we can see that the engine is lit, and that is driven by the data that says that the engine is truly lit, and we're in this burn. Yeah, the launch vehicle continues to send telemetry to the launch team uh, via the Tidris network, uh, as you mentioned, uh, and that allows them to continue to watch what's going on and make sure all their sequence of events uh, meet their timeline. Uh, we continue on a nominal flight this morning. Um, this, uh, this first burn, as we heard earlier, will be about six minutes. This will get us into that park orbit around Earth.